After mass shootings like the one in Boulder, Colorado, people are looking for a sense of comfort. And that came in the form of golden retrievers. And TV's Danielle Shank spoke with the caregivers of Eddie, who was called on for his assistance, and she joins us now live in studio. Danielle. Don and Co Connie Moeller have been taking care of Eddie for more than six years now and have providing, been providing a sense of comfort for almost everything from nursing homes and schools to mass shooting sites. We spent most of our time at the memorial, which was set up right in front of King Super, the, the grocery store where the shooting was. There were hundreds of people would go and take flowers and it's just amazing. We, you know, you just go there and people are drawn to these dogs because they're so gentle. Eddie was specifically trained to be a comfort dog for numerous people, starting at just eight weeks old, according to the molars. Now he is eight years old. They would rather talk to an animal before they would us. And uh, it doesn't hurt our feelings one bit. But uh, <laughs> the thing about it also that we have to realize is the fact that there are a lot of hurting people out there when incidences like this happen. Eddie, along with a couple of other dogs from Nebraska, spent four days in Boulder, Colorado, comforting those that needed it. It's amazing, unless you actually see it happen, how they can pull themselves, the people that are really hurting in it. And emotionally, uh, you know, people are hurting, that's very true, but it can be so stressful and, and emotional on a dog, it pulls a lot of strength out of them. So you have to watch your inner animals. They, they do tire. Along the way, Eddie and the Molars heard many stories. As Connie says, they listened to people and offered to pray with them if they wanted to. We met one girl, for instance, she worked there and uh, when the shooting started, she hid in the cabinet for over an hour. I'd be petrified, let me put it that way. And then, you know, when we talked to her, you know, we asked, she told us how she felt and she says, I feel blessed. She says, I take things now that I took for granted as a blessing, you know, whether it's a bird singing or whatever, you know, even family. Uh, she says, it's a blessing I really realize now that I took for granted. You hear kind of the same thing from everybody, like why did this happen again in our beautiful state? You know, many friendly people, but the, you know, a lot of people are mad. They're, you know, like just questioning why is this why does this happen so so senseless the molars also mentioned that it was spring break for the two schools nearby and usually around 2 30 there would be upwards of 20 kids around that grocery store the same time the shooter was there there's those little things that we don't realize blessings are there he said the frustrating part about the deployments to these types of situations is when people have survivor's guilt you're going to have the policeman that said, I wish I was there when Officer Tilly was to help him out or whatever. You're going to have people that are guilty. You're going to have people from the other stores of, of King Super saying, you know, why was it that store? Why wasn't it our store, believe it or not? But despite the swarming feelings of guilt or sadness, comfort dogs like Eddie help bring a little light back into the world. We just pray for the people, and I, I think we all need to realize the fact that it can happen to us anywhere, anytime, or whatever. So uh, again, let's trust in the Lord. Now, Eddie is actually owned by the Peace Lutheran Church in Grand Island. And for a little more background on Eddie, including his social media handles, you can visit our website. Sarah, thanks so much, Danielle.